Hi everybody, my name is Alicia and I'm joined again in the studio by... Michael, hello. And today we're going to be talking about some misconceptions about America. So let's get right into it. Let's start with you, Michael. What is your first misconception that you've heard about America? Mm, I'm going to have to start with the arrogant American stereotype. Mm. So this, this, I think, maybe in the past had been uh, a little bit more accurate. But ever since the internet and ever since like the 60s with the Vietnam War and uh, the hippie movement and everything going on then, this has really died down a bit. You know, I'm proud to be an American, but I'm not one of the, the stereotypical Americans that we're number one, we're the best, blah, blah. This really has died down. Um, yeah, I hear this a lot though on the internet and whatnot. Mm. Um, yeah, I know what you mean, the, the whole, you know, number one thing. At least mm. for me, one of the things that I, I don't know, I feel like if you say that there's a greatest country in the world, I don't know, I think that's a silly thing to say, that you're the greatest country in the world. Not that I don't, you know, support America or, you know, appreciate all the things that America does, like for me and for people around the world. I feel like I'm, gonna, I'm treading in dangerous water right here right now. But, I don't know, there are plenty of good things about other countries, too. I'm going to stop here before I can <laughs> Get on my soapbox. Anyway, I'm going to go to my first one. My first one um, is maybe, I don't know, maybe this is one that you've got as well. Hamburgers are the only American food. <laughs> this is a misconception that I have heard a lot. Uh, hamburgers and variations of hamburgers, cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers, avocado burgers, veggie burgers, whatever. Anything burger is not the only American food. There are plenty of other American foods. Like, uh, if you, it, even if you just stick around in, like the fast food ballpark for a while, there are like hot dogs, there are like Philly cheese steaks, which are delicious. If you go to the South, there's all kinds of interesting um, like Louisiana food that you can try down there. You can eat crocodile, you can eat frog legs, which mm. I mean, probably is borrowed to some extent from French cuisine. Um, there's lots of fresh fish, like salmon from Washington, Oregon, where I'm from. We talked a lot about Tex-Mex and like California burrito culture. There is so much good stuff to try in America and it's not just burgers. Like mm. American food is more than just burgers. That drives me crazy when people say, oh, you're Americans, you must love hamburgers, right? Mm. Well, they're great, but there's so much other good stuff to try. Yeah. Yes. Likewise, just with the hamburger thing, when you think hamburgers, you think fast food, right? Mm. And so that's the other stereotype that even if you want a good authentic American hamburger, don't go to one of the fast food restaurants. And yeah. that's what they think. Oh, you, you're American. You can't appreciate the real good, high quality cheese and blah, blah, blah. If you have a really good, authentic American hamburger, you'll, you'll be really happy. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be really happy. It's really good. Um, mm. Did I miss any like key American foods? I feel like I hit kind of like the big ones. As yeah. far as like, you know, region centric foods that are, that are big. That was the first thing I thought of, and you got to it, is Louisiana, as yeah. far as like something that people don't usually think about when they think about American food, and, uh -huh. and that's amazing food. And I think, you know, to, to take that a little bit further, um, while traveling and teaching, people would say, oh, your name's not a really American name, because my last name is German. But I would tell them that there is no American name. Like, a truly American name would be like the Native Americans from way back when. And one of the beauties of America is that it's the melting pot, as you always hear, and then it's a lot of different cultures. So as you were saying about Louisiana food, it's probably borrowed from French and, you know, American food isn't just hamburgers. It's, mm. There's a whole wide array. And as we talked about before, the Mexican food. So absolutely, there's mm. a big variety and it's not just one thing. Yeah, explore, explore American cuisine. There's a lot of it to explore, I think. All right, uh, what's your next misconception? Next misconception is, well, this one's a little bit specific to where I'm from is that everybody skis or snowboards in Colorado. Mm. So this is something, I think this is natural when you meet somebody from any different state, province, mm -hmm. whatever, is that you think about the tourist attractions of that place. Oh. And you say, you know, so I meet another American, even, yeah, even within America, and they say, oh, you're, you're from Colorado, do you ski and snowboard? And yeah, you know, sometimes, uh, it, just because I'm from there doesn't mean I'd do it. And to me, I think, you know, it's kind of a rough analogy, but it'd be like meeting someone from France and being like, oh, do you go to the Eiffel Tower every day? Like, mm. yeah, once when I was a kid, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, same thing with America. Oh, you know, just as the whole country, it's what, the Statue of Liberty and these kinds of things. Right. Do you ever get that? Or Yeah, every once in a while. Or like, um, I'm from Oregon, so we have like, you know, ski and snowboard culture there. But I'm trying to think of if there's... When I say that I'm, I was raised in Oregon, if there's something that I usually get back, and I don't think I do. I think California maybe more so. Like, 
if you say you're from California, it might be something like, oh, well, do you surf or do you go to the beach? Or I think that there's, it's really easy to kind of make an image uh, of, that, of that state or what that state's people might be like and then to ask a question about that. But I don't think that it's necessarily like out of, I don't know, malice that people say such things. I think it's just trying to make a connection like, oh, I've, I'm familiar to some degree with your state or I, I know something about your state. Maybe this is a way we can have a conversation about it. But yeah, like kind of pigeonholing people, hmm. like trying to stereotype people based on, you know, where they're from and what you presume they might like to do. I guess it could come off as a little like, uh, <laughs> a little irritating. <laughs> For some. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it because I know that it's, it's good intentions. They're just trying mm -hmm. to make a connection. And I, I do the same thing, that I think of all the musicians or famous actors or actresses from whatever the country they're from, and I'll say that. And mm -hmm. Hopefully, you're just trying to make conversation, so it's not a big mm -hmm. deal. But again, it's, it's a stereotype, and just try to relate it and put, put yourself in the shoes. Like, what, what kind of tourist attractions and stereotypes do I not relate to? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Or saying, yeah. oh, I've been there to such and such attraction before. Mm. It was really nice, that kind of mm. thing. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's not Harmless. necessarily bad. It's just one of those things. It's like, mm. Mm, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one. Let's see. The next one that I have. I, I've heard this now and, now and then. <laughs> this one that I've heard is Americans all own guns. I've heard this. I don't uh, hear me, it. So me too. Same uh, Z's. <laughs> Oh gosh, we both had this one, but this is one that I think uh, maybe it's because of action movies, maybe it's because of the news stories that come out about shootings in America, which are horribly tragic and unfortunate. But for some reason, some people have this image that Americans all own guns. Um, I don't own a gun. Me either. <laughs> so uh, I, there's one person, two people who do not <laughs> own guns. Um, and I know that there are plenty more. There are a lot of people who do not own guns. And um, I mean, whether or not you support guns, maybe that's a different issue. But I just, this is, this is one point that's always just a little bit confusing to me. That I don't know, I guess maybe this comes from like West, old Western movies where we're like, you know, cowboys or depicted I, I get as that being kind of like this gun-toting, like gun-loving, shoot 'em up sort of country, but I don't think that it's that, I don't, I don't think that that's America. Yeah. Well, all of America. <laughs> there are parts of America, there are some people in America who like guns, fine, mm. okay, if that's your thing, it's just not mm. mine, and it's not some other people's. Yeah, I think the fact that we both have to kind of like stop and hesitate it is, it is an issue, you know, it's a, it's a hot topic, it's what, Second Amendment, right? So it's always, people are constantly debating this. Um, but I tell people, I can't think of, of five people, like in all of my friends and family, five people, I can't think of five who own a gun. You know, there's some people who are like military, something like this, but like private people, that's really not common. There's only a handful of people I know that own a gun uh, and they go out shooting. It's not like a big deal. Um, but it is, it is a hot topic, but I, I hate this. Every time they're, oh, America, cowboy, guns, this kind of, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not a cowboy, not, don't have guns, I don't know. Mm, have yeah. you ever gone shooting, though? Um, my parents had, um, do you know clay pigeons, clay pigeon shooting? Hmm. My parents used to do that with their friends. They had, um, they would just go to a small shooting range, and they'd, it's just like this little disc made of clay and it, it it was just a sport it was just for a sport they'd shoot it or they'd like fly what do you call it like fling fling I guess they'd throw like this clay pigeon in the air and then you'd aim and try to shoot it it was like a sport um and so my parents had a couple for that and then I think they sold them after a while because they just they just didn't do it very often um I, th I fired that a couple times and I really didn't like it it just made me feel really uncomfortable um, how how old were you? I you was probably 17, 18 mm. or so. Yeah. It's about the age you would know if you like it or you don't. I suppose, you know, but I, like it just made me really, but... really uncomfortable. I didn't like mm. it. Um, but I don't know. I, I have known people who, who use them for hunting. Like I knew somebody um, in high school and college, his dad had one. Um, but they, he'd go out hunting every year and he'd go out and kill a deer and then they'd bring it home and they'd like prepare it and the family would have, would have that um, to eat throughout the winter. That was like just one of their family's traditions. Um, but as far as like a handgun, I don't think I've ever met anyone that I know of. Yeah. No, wait, I did know one guy. See, that's a He thing. was a little... I'm not gonna say anything. I've, I'm really uncomfortable <laughs> on this video so far. Mm. <laughs> I feel like it's getting controversial. Yeah, yeah. Okay, So, let's go to the last one because it's not controversial. 
let's go to the last one. Uh, my last one is, it'll be quick and easy to see the whole country. No, America is huge, especially, well, compared to a lot of other countries around the world. America is very, very large. Um, I've heard of people saying, you know, like they're going to go to visit New York and then they say, okay, and then we're going to, we're going to rent a car and we're going to drive to California. And the Americans in the room will go, you know how long that's going to take you, right? <laughs> you have some concept of how far that is. I'm like, oh, you know, a few hours or, you know, a couple days. Like, no, <laughs> it's far. It's like 5,000 miles across the country. So you should plan some time. I heard about a guy recently who took like a month to bicycle from New York to California. It's crazy. He had some, he had some people give him car rides along the way. Mm. Um, but have you ever run into somebody who like has no, no concept of how large the country is? Mm, all the time. Really? Usually, I mean, again, like we were talking about, the, you, you want to make a connection. So usually they just name, everyone knows New York, Texas, California. That's pretty much it when you think America. And so even, even Americans I know, you, you really don't put it on scale of how, how big it is unless you look at a picture and you place like Europe on top and you go, wow, this is, this is pretty huge. Uh -huh. um, generally, though, I, I haven't met anybody who's like planning a trip and going. I think when you plan a trip, they make a little more preparations. Mm. but. Yeah, same thing. They really have no idea, no like frame of reference, I guess, because it's kind of its own yeah. thing. And then if you even want to include like Alaska and Hawaii, which are just way out there. Yeah, yeah good luck with that in your week-long trip. <laughs> yeah, it's quite large. All right, so those are some common misconceptions about America. Anything else you want to add to this or anything else you would like to clear up? Um, don't you dare say anything about America because it's not true. Oh my gosh, <laughs> just happened. <laughs> Those are some misconceptions about America. So maybe we've cleared up a few things about America or maybe we've only intensified a few of your misconceptions <laughs> about America, <laughs> who knows. But thanks very much for joining us this time and we will see you again when we have another fun topic to discuss. Bye.